Hi everyone, how you doing? My name is Dean and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's vlog, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on the Dr. Martin's Coombs Tech Boots. I've been wearing these for three months, but are they any good? So three months ago, I dropped this video here. And basically in this video, it was just an unboxing and it was me giving you my first impressions of the boot based on the materials and the short amount of time I'd worn them just trotting around my house. But now, three months on, I can give you an honest review on how I've got on with these boots. So the question is, are they any good? No, they're not. They're excellent. So just what is it that makes these boots excellent? Well, it has to be the comfort. I genuinely can't think of a pair of shoes that I've ever worn that give me the same comfort level of these. Typically with a pair of boots, my experiences have never been that great. After a short period of time, I've wanted to get the boot off. It's maybe kind of choking my foot or it's rubbing at the back of my heel or my calf area. But these are just the complete opposite. From the second that I put these on my feet three months ago, they've been nothing short of superb. The cushioning in the sole is just an absolute blessing. The actual materials around where your foot is sitting are super, super soft and super warm and keeping your foot super dry. So this is my main principal reason for these getting that excellent rating. Okay, so what about the materials? I've mentioned that the materials inside the boot where your foot sits are absolutely excellent. On the outside of the boot, they're pretty much the same, excellent as well. They're almost looking box fresh, the same as they did three months ago. Um, there's no staining on any of the suede or the new bug. So the materials on the upper have been exceptionally good as well. There's only been one small thing that I've actually noticed with this boot, and I don't know if you can see that just there. Can you see that? There's a piece of the ton which is missing. Now the ton is, um, it's a deconstructed ton, as you can see here, it's basically open. There's nothing, no stitching or anything like that, or no lever at the top holding the top part of the ton in, which is a really nice look. Now that there, which has happened, I think is purely down to the fact that I've been wearing jeans pretty much every time I've worn these, and my jeans have been sitting about there, so I think that's just a, a case of my jeans rubbing. That said, on the left foot, the jeans would have been sitting in the same place, but there's absolutely no issue whatsoever. So other than that small detail or defect, the uppers are absolutely brilliant. Um, moving on to the soles. These are probably, I'm not gonna say my favorite part of the boot, but just because of the comfort again, the soles have been exceptional. Um, the amount of grip these offer are absolutely brilliant. And as you can see, after three months of wear, and they've been worn a reasonable amount of time. There's absolutely no wear whatsoever in the sole. So that's another area where the boot scores extremely high. Okay, now if we take a look at the laces. Now, a lot of the times you'll find with boots or with trainers or whatever it is, but particularly with boots in my opinion, and I'm talking about, I've had Caterpillar boots over the years, Timberland boots as well, but I specifically remember it happening a lot with Caterpillar. The laces start to fray and quite often they will snap, you know, if they've got wet and then they've got hot and then got cold, but these, no fraying, absolutely exceptional laces on these. The eyelets are not causing the, the, the laces to rub at all. So again, another plus point for the laces on these, they've done a brilliant job. Another thing is as well is on the Coombs Tech boots, we've got this uh, buckle style system here, which basically locks your ankle into place. As I mentioned in the first vlog that I've done, you can actually remove this. You can just open it up and you can take it out. You can just pull it through here. But um, this hasn't failed either. You know, it is only plastic, but it appears to be extremely well made. It clips into place every single time like it should with a positive sound, as you can hear there. Um, so yeah, that hasn't failed, nor is the Velcro. You know, you can adjust this strap and make it tighter or looser by the Velcro here. That hasn't failed either. So again, from a design point of view, these have been absolutely spot on. Okay, one last point that I wanna clear up is the sizing on the Dr. Martin's Coombs Tech boots. Now, in the first vlog, um, I said that I recommend that you size down. And I just want to reiterate, that is only if you're looking to order these in an EU sizing. The reason I say that is because uh, Dr. Martins don't have an EU 40 on their size chart. If you actually look at their size chart, it jumps from an EU 39 
to an EU41. So that EU40 is missing. So if, for, for example, if you are a UK6, all do a UK6. But however, if you're a UK6, which is typically an EU40, you're going to find that these Dr. Martins, you're going to have to get an EU39. But I promise you, this will be the same as your normal EU40. Okay, and then lastly, we have to talk about the famous airwear tab on the back. Now, if you were a subscriber to my channel, you'll know that historically, I've never really used um, pull tabs to put my feet into shoes. However, boots are a whole different animal. You know, you do need a tab to just pull up and get that foot deep into the boot. But these, look, absolutely brilliant. There's absolutely nothing there which is showing signs of wear. I've watched some other uh, reviews on YouTube of other boots. I won't name them, but we're talking high-end companies here. And um, after a very short period of time, in actual fact, I saw one review where somebody had paid a lot of money for a pair of boots, far more in excess of these, and the tab would come off in less than a week when they're pulling them on. So yeah, the famous Airwear tab with the bouncing soles is still there on both boots. It's, 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 there's just nothing there. There's no give, it's, it's solid. So there you go, guys. There's my thoughts on the Dr. Martin's Coon Tech boots. Would I suggest that you go out and get a pair? Yes, I would. If you want something alternative to the Dr. Martin's 1460, then these have got to be a consideration. Anyway, guys, I hope you found the vlog informative. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a like. And if you could subscribe to the channel, it would mean the world to me. Anyway, I'll catch you again soon. Have a great day.